using web server for Chrome take a look at the v3 folder here we've got an actual car for the first time driving around kind of a moonscape the car is a Canon Raycast vehicle class and the landscape is a Canon height field and when we use this little joystick control we're applying forces to each one of the wheels turning forces to drive it forwards but also to steer and because it's a raycast vehicle it's actually supporting itself on a suspension to keep it lifted above the landscape whenever its wheels are touching the landscape itself so let's have a look at the code we're in the v3 version small changes to the index page and in the game itself some small changes there we're creating a default scene and camera default renderer creating a helper Canon helper that we um, we saw in the last lecture and we're adding lights to it but the main change is in in the init physics method which we'll concentrate on in this lecture so first of all we're setting a gravity we've got a new version of broad phase which is SAP broad phase and that needs the world passing into it we create a ground material and a wheel material they're the only two materials we'll be using and then we create a contact material for when those two materials hit each other setting a bit of friction restitution zero so no no bounce and contact equation stiffness 1000 we'll add that contact material to our world and then we'll create a chassis shape that's going to be a box that's two meters wide one meter high and four meters long remember when we're dealing with the box these values are the half extents and then we create a cannon body with a mass of 150 and we add the chassis we add the chassis shape to the chassis body positioning it four meters up and then we use the helper add visual method to create a 3GS version of this remember then chassis body will have a three mesh property which is a mesh that's the same shape as this body and we're giving it the name car this is just so that our camera follows it you don't need to worry about that we'll discuss that later options that's important so whenever you're using the Canon Raycast vehicle class you're going to need an options object that looks very similar to this you could base it entirely on this that's the radius of our wheels so our wheels are a meter I know that's big but then it's four meters long um, the direction local that's what the direction of down is that's our suspension stiffness that's how soft the suspension is that's the rest length of the suspension and the maximum it can travel can never be more than the, re the rest length our local axis is down the X and the chateau, chassis connection point will be set for each of the 
wheels that we, we apply. And then we actually create a vehicle. It takes as a parameter the chassis body. And because we want um, up to be the y axis, right to be the x axis, and forwards to be the z axis, we have to actually directly inform that because it's not the default for the Raycast vehicle. So at this point, we've created our vehicle and we need to think about adding wheels, which we're going to do in the next video. This video is from the course Create a 3D Car Racing Game with 3GS and Canon GS. To get the course at a great discount, pull down the description.